Tim. What's going on, everybody? Super Nintendo Detective Tim. Welcome to episode 11 of our Detective hey, Pikachu Let's hey, Play. On, Last week, you guys, we were able to uh, basically hey, prove uh, Walsh's innocence, and now we're in this creepy ass, abandoned hey, ass amusement Tim. park. Tim. And Pikachu's being fucking annoying. What the fuck do you want? There are no people here. You ain't gotta get my attention to speak. Hey, Tim, you know why we're here, right? Of course, we're here to learn more about the accident that happened a year ago. Right. Apparently, Pokemon suddenly went berserk during a parade. The police figured it was some kind of accident, but it seemed like Harry was thought there was more to it than that. I doubt it was really investigating all the recent Pokemon instances, right? Did the accident here have something to do with those instances as well? Who knows? If we investigate the accident, we should be able to figure out... Let's ask the Pokemon around here about the exact exactly what happened on the day of the accident. It's the only one from the investigation only we can do. All right. All right. Alakazam, what happened? Thanks for earlier. Now we can finally talk to the Pokemon that live here. Don't hurt anyone. What do you mean? Oh, I see. You still don't fully trust people. What? But why? Is it because of the accident? Yeah, apparently after the accident, a lot of the Pokemon that used to live here were taken away somewhere. Alakazam and the other Pokemon we saw all escaped during captures so they could keep living here. That's why they were hiding from us. It's saying it also wants us to know the tr wants to know the truth behind the accident. That's why it's helping us. About the accident. Can you tell us what happened during the parade? What was the situation? We should ask the others. Oh, you weren't part of the parade, huh? I see. You were part of the performance at a different theme park, so you weren't here. When you go back, Charizard was already unconscious on the ground, huh? You say you might have been able to help if you'd been, a been around. Don't overthink it. Let bygones be bygones. Okay. Oh, it ran away. It seems like it's really cautious. We're not going to be able to talk to it like this. Yeah, I wonder if there's some way we can get it to trust us, even if it takes some time. How about you, Ladder? Load! 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 Oh, God. <laughs> Wah! I, I can feel my ears ringing. That's quite a voice you've got. About the accident. During the investigation on the accident, were you part of the parade? You say you were nearby. I know this might be painful to think back on, but do you think you could tell us what exactly happened? Hmm? So Charizard suddenly went wild, huh? Even though up until then it looked like it was having fun? And that's what caused everyone to panic and try to escape. It made the whole park fall into chaos, huh? There was something off about Charizard when it suddenly went wild? I'd like to speak with Charizard. Do you know where it is? Oh, some people took it away, huh? Charizard went wild. I don't know why I love wild it so much. Oh, hey, you've got some trash taking out there. One sec, I can push it back in. Don't mention it. So I take it you live here, too. Oh, I see. You originally moved in here because you wanted to find more trash, huh? About the accident. Yeah, if you're new, you wouldn't know anything about the accident, I guess. Oh, you heard it was horrible. Oh, some of the other Pokemon here were talking about it, huh? All right, what other po Oh, hello. This shirt looks like it's been scorched by fire. Yeah, it looks like what... Whatever it did was trying to cook it well done. Maybe there was a Pokemon that breathed fire? Yeah, Charizard. We know that. This shit looks like it's been scorched by fire. Yeah, it looks like blah, 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 blah. This donut. Was it some sort of decoration, you think? Yeah, it looks like a sign of some kind. It fell down and it's been just left like that. It's in the door. I can't go in the door. What's over here? I don't think we can go beyond here. God damn it. Hey, hey, Mark Crow. Oh, there's Murkrow here, too. Yeah, it looks like it's grumpy as the other one. Well, let's see what it has to say about the accident. I remember seeing the parade from the sky, but I doesn't remember much ab at all about it. What? Nothing at all? It seemed a bit noisy, but apparently to Murkrow, it was a usual day. What? A usual day? It lived in another area in those days, and it just thought of amusement parks as noisy to begin with. Huh. I guess it has a different perspective on things compared to us. Alright, what about the teacup? A coffee cup ride has definitely seen better days. Yeah, it looks like it's been left as they were ever since the park closed down. Well, it's not like we can go we're going to drink coffee out of these cups or anything. I doubt it has anything to do with the incident either. Okay, so car? Hey Tim, we still got things to check. Can you suck shit? Alright, I've already asked this trubbish, I guess. Trash cans are all beat up. Maybe they were damaged by Pokemon when the accident happened. Okay, we got do some soothing. What's this? Is this food for the Pokemon? It still looks fresh. Huh, maybe somebody's trying to help the Pokemon near here. Okay. Hey, look at Smeargle. Oh, you look sad. Smeargle. Graffiti art. Graffiti artist. <laughs> 
Margot. You look so sad. Margot. Wow, you certainly look depressed. Don't think about the Margot. accident. Do you think you could tell us what you know? We may be able to help you out. Margot. Hmm, no good. It's like it's not even noticing that we're here. What could it be troubling you so much? Margot. Is this? The painting is all broken up. Did the accident cause this too? I don't know, but it seems possible that the Pokemon that went wild caused the damage. Hey, Tim. What do you want? Tim. We've asked just about all the Pokemon here about the accident. It's a good time to organize what we found out. Yeah, we know what uh, we know what kind of accident it was now. We'd be been told Pokemon suddenly went wild during the parade, but the cause of it was all Charizard. That's right. Charizard was the first to go on a rampage. What could have happened to Charizard? We've seen Pokemon suddenly become violent in other incidences too, haven't we? Yes, we have. Glalie and Litwick Cave and Trevenant at the PCL, right? Exactly. What's more, we went to the cave at PCL because we were following clues left by my dad. Since we know he was also looking into Fine Park. There's somebody... There's probably some connection there. In other words, the cause of Charizard's sudden outrage could be something we know. What caused Charizard to go on an outrage? Uh, it was given R. That's right. R may be the cause of Charizard suddenly going wild. We should ask about how Charizard was on the day of the accident. What caused the accident at the park? Alright, uh, do you think it was caused by the accident too? It looks dangerous to go past here. Margot. About Charizard. Do you think you could tell us what you know? Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. I guess it's still thinking about the accident. About Fine Park. Were you in charge of something at that park too? Hmm, you were painting the wall. You mean the painting on this wall? It's all in pieces now. Was it busted up during the accident? What? It's crying. It seems heartbroken that its mural is all busted up. I wonder if there's some way we can cheer it up. I don't know. Unless you guys, you got some scotch tape? I can fix it. The painting is all broken up. Did the accident cause this too? I don't know, but it seems possible that the Pokemon went wild caused it damage. We're not going to get much out of Smeargle like this. No kidding. Oh, I know. What about the mural? Maybe we can fix it. It'll cheer up Smeargle a bit. Oh, good idea. It seems like the fragments are still lying around. Maybe we can actually fix it up. How? 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 How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Huh? I know. Let's fix it up. Why don't we go ahead and fix this mural? We can gather up all the shards and fit them in. Okay. So... Base goes here. Uh, you go here. You go here. You go here. You go here. And you go here. Bingo bango. Yes, that's right. So apparently fixing the mural was just that easy. Just that easy. It's just that easy. Smirgo, have a look. We fixed up the mural for you. Ha! Surprise, eh? No need to thank us. We just wanted to cheer you up. Seems like it worked, too. This mural means a lot. It, it has everyone in it. Oh, this is a painting of the fine park before the accident. That's why it shows Pokemon we haven't seen. Hey, can you tell us about the Pokemon in the mural? Uh, tell us about Charizard. That's a pretty impressive Pokemon, isn't, isn't that Charizard? Alright, alright. Calm down a little bit. Yeah, apparently this is Charizard. Smeargle says Charizard was always with its friends, and it looked really cool when it flew through the sky. Sounds like Charizard is really popular with the Pokemon here. It must have been R that made it go wild. There are Pokemon that look like flowers. They're a skip bloom. According to Smeargle, they left the park shortly after the accident. Litten. What about this Pokemon called? Its name is Litten. Apparently, it's a bit of a troublemaker, but Smeargle says it's got along well with Charizard. Litten still lives in this park and is waiting for Charizard to come back. I've never seen that Pokemon before. This is Hoppip. Apparently, it's blown away by the wind during the accident. What? Is it okay? It says it'll come back when the spring breeze starts blowing through again. And the final one? Er, these are called Scriptbloom, right? Are they, and they don't live here anymore? Smeargle says they really liked being around people, so they probably left to find somewhere with more people. I see. I hope they're doing alright. Alright, we found out all about the Pokemon that are part of the mural. It seems like there are a lot more Pokemon here before the park closed down. I wish you could talk to all of them. Well, it looks like we'll be able to talk to at least one Pokemon that knew Charizard well. Have you figured out which one? Uh, Litten. That's right. Litten. Litten's still around here, apparently, and it was good friends with Charizard. If there's anyone who can help us, it's Litten. Yeah, let's go find it. It could be hiding somewhere. If you notice anywhere Litten could be, let me know. You know how to get my attention, right? It's in the same as when you notice one of my prompts. 
Okay, so... Oh, there's Stuffle. Aww. Oh, you cutest Pokemon. Oh, hey Tim, it looks like it's willing to talk to us. Good, sorry to have scared you earlier. Ah, finally you trust us. Of course we're not going to try and catch you or anything. I'm glad this little uh, that little misunderstanding got resolved. About the accident. You were part of the parade too, huh? What was it like? Oh, the parade was held right here, and a lot of people had come to see it, just like always. Hmm, so everything was ordinary that day. Hmm, something was flashing over and over? Do you mean the flash of cameras? I can see camera flashes being startling, but if it was normal occurrence, I don't think it would be enough to cause a Pokemon to go wild. Okay, there was a bunch of cameras. What about Charizard? Do you think you could tell us about Charizard when it suddenly became wild? It was as if it wasn't the same Charizard anymore, and even its eye color changed. What color was its eyes? They were red. Now that's testimony that gets you thinking. Alright, above the park. I see. So many of your friends have gone away. You feel lonely, huh? Everything changed here after the accident, didn't it? About Litton. Oh, so you don't know where it is. Hmm, you hugged it once while playing. You feel like it's been avoiding you since then. Is Litton really shy or something? Hmm, Suffo doesn't seem pretty strong. I think you'd be a bit afraid of being hugged by it, too. Okay. So we don't know where Litton could be hiding. Hmm. This looks just like a stuffed toy. I guess looks can be deceiving. That's funny. All right. Um, Trubbish about Charizard. You don't know about the accident, but you've heard its name mentioned. Then it says it was really carrying Pokemon, huh? Right, so they're saying things like they miss it or how they don't understand why it did such a thing. Seems like Charizard is pretty popular. Okay, he was always caring. How do you like living here? Every day it's a treasure hunt. What do you mean? Oh, I see. You're hunting for the trash around here. It doesn't look like there's anything left, but I guess you know where to look. About Litton. Huh? It seems like it's scared. Does something happen between it and Litton? Apparently one time Litton mistook it for a big bag of trash and tried to burn it. Well, maybe Litton isn't all that observant. Alright. Alakazam. Kazam. About Charizard. He tells what you know about Charizard. Charizard was normally full of energy and vigor, but apparently af but after it went wild, it seemed limp and completely drained, huh? Maybe it wore itself out or something. Hmm, well that may be the case. We would have caused it to push itself to the point that there's something odd about the whole thing. It was exhausted afterwards. About the park. Apparently, Alakazam used its moves during its shows to impress the audience. Now that you mentioned it, it would be floating upside down just now, too. It says it can use psychic powers. It must have a pretty amazing show. About Litton. This Litton constantly changes its home on a whim, so it doesn't know where it could be. That's unfortunate. I hope we can figure out where it is somewhere. Let's get keep asking around. I'm sure we'll find a hint somewhere. Okay, I guarantee you this is where it's where it's staying. All right, so this stuff was willing to talk. Aww. Oh, we've already wait. But you were over here before, right? Oh, and you just moved. Okay. All right, louder. About no! Charizard. Apparently, Charizard was pretty excited to be the main part of the Pokemon in the parade. It was always dependable, and all the Pokemon trusted it too. But then it went berserk. There's definitely something not right about this whole thing. Okay. About the park. Oh, you were helping out with the park announcements. It certainly has a voice that carries. Oh, you always put your heart into your shouts, huh? You want to be like it? Who's it you mentioned? It says there's a loud dude on cannon duty near the Ferris wheel. Cannon duty. Yep, that's what it's saying. It says it dreams of being given that duty someday, too. Not sure what it means, though. Okay, Loudred's cannon duty. About Litton. What's that? Oh, sounds like Litton is a troublemaker. Just like Smeargle said, it breathes fire on everything and leaves scorch marks everywhere. That sounds like a bit more than what I'd call a troublemaker. I hope it'll listen to us. I doubt it. Alright, what about the Murkrow? Is that Murkrow over here? It is not. But I saw it fly over her. Aha! Uh -huh. About Charizard. You had a fight with Charizard the day before the accident. What happened? It got angry when you tried to take some of the shiny things the guests were wearing. Sounds like more of a scolding than a fight. Let's see. It's pretty comfortable since there are no people trying to chase you away, huh? You don't understand why all the Pokemon look so depressed? Well, I mean, people shunned them and they lost a bunch of friends. 
It seems more space for everyone. No sympathy, eh? I guess different Pokemon have different perspectives. About Litten. Don't dare mention its name around you. Whoa, what happened between you two? I tried to burn it tried to burn your treasure when all you did was poke a Charizard a little? Sounds like you weren't asking for trouble. Well, no sign of remorse or anything on Murkrow's part. It says that Litten's getting what it deserves today, since it hates the rain. If it doesn't like the rain, maybe it's hiding somewhere it can stay dry. Let's go see if we can find it. Okay, so it dislikes rain. And there's a door open right here that would conveniently goes inside. So let us take a little look see around here. The barricade here, but it looks like we can get past if we head farther in. Yeah, but we still got things to check in this area. Do you think Mark could be yeah, most I could do to charge our flames. And these are probably the same thing. Was it some sort of decoration? Blah, 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 blah. I don't think we get beyond here. Coffee compressed in better days. It looks expensive and we close down. Coffee and then blah, 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 blah. How do I get in that building? Well, hello. What's this? A gas canister? Looks like it. I think it could be used to inflate balloons or something like that. Okay. So now... We talk to Shmirgo. Oh, we can talk about the accident of Fine Park. Was Miro though damaged during the accident too? I see, that's too bad. It says a lot of Pokemon came running here from the entrance area, and Miro got broken in all the confusion and chaos. In all the chaos, what were the Pokemon like? It says they looked scared and didn't seem to know what was going on. Oh, that must be that must have been terrible, but it doesn't sound like the way Charizard behaved. Maybe Charizard was only was the only one affected by R. Uh, Charizard. It says it said hi to Charizard just before the parade, but Charizard seemed the same as always. Which means something must have happened during the parade. About the park. Did you work on anything else besides painting the murals? You would draw designs for people with your tail, and you're super popular? Wow, sounds like you were a star. About Litton. We want to go speak to Litton. Do you know where it could be? It says that Litton does its own thing, so I can't say where it might be. I oh wait uh, duh no shit I'm supposed to click the Pikachu whenever I'm near a spot that could be Litten's hideout. The door's slightly open. Maybe it's inside. Could be. Let's see. Litten, are you here? Uh, Litten. Yep, there it is. Litten, the little troublemaker. Oh look at his yeah. little cat. He's a little cat. It's just a little kitty cat. <laughs> no need to be so defensive. We're not here to cause trouble. We just want to find out more about the accident. You can't trust anyone who's with a human. Hmm, that's problematic. Hey, Litton, I understand if you can't trust me, but don't you want to find out why Charizard suddenly went berserk? Oh, this is Tim. We're trying to find out exactly what happened on that day. We'd really appreciate it if you could tell us you, all you know. About the park. You were a part of the parade, too. I see. You weren't part of the parade, but you did see the accident. You heard a loud noise from the main plaza, so you rushed to see what's happening. That's when you saw Charizard going on a rampage. About Charizard. Was there anything strange about Charizard? It doesn't matter whether it's before or after the parade. Anything you can remember. What? Charizard didn't remember going on the rampage? That is interesting. Just like the other instances we've come across. It didn't remember shit. You really liked this place, huh? You had a lot of friends and it was going along well with the people that visited, too. And between shows, you and Charizard would show people tricks with your flames. You must have been a great team. Huh? No, no, you've got the wrong idea. Charizard didn't go berserk like that because it didn't like you anymore. It didn't re I didn't realize it took the rampage that way. We need to solve this case for the sake of all the Pokemon here. Hey, Tim! You've gathered some information. Open up your case notes and let's think about it. I bet. If R was the cause, there would have been telltale signs on Charizard. Let's organize all our testimony. Okay. So we have Charizard was very caring. We have Charizard was exhausted after the rampage. Instead of being the star of the parade, he did not remember its rampage. His eyes turned red. His eyes turned red. It was exhausted after the rampage. 
and it was excited about being in the parade. Do you think that's what? right? Uh, no, that's not right. Its eyes turned red when berserk. Um, it was exhausted. I didn't remember. Do you think that's right? I didn't read it. it was it, that's it. The, Those are the same traits uh, as the other Pokemon traits. that became aggressive because of R. Which indicates that Charizard was also under the influence of R. Awesome. We figured out that Charizard went on a rampage. So R was involved after all. Yeah, my dad must have figured that out too. That's why he came here. Oh, whoa, what do you want, Alkazam? Have we figured out what caused the accident? Yeah, Charizard wasn't acting his own will. Someone forced him to run him up. What? What's Alkazam saying? I hope it doesn't start to psychic humans or anything. You suspect as much. The other visitor was probably here to investigate that as well. The other visitor? Does it mean... Yeah, probably Harry. Apparently a man with a Pikachu came here a few months back. Let's see if we can find out more. Find out about the person with the Pikachu. Uh, about Harry. Hey, did you see anyone here a few months ago? Someone who may have had me along? You don't remember, since you only noticed shiny things. How did you not notice my absolute brilliance and shining talent? Enough of that, Pikachu. Let's go talk to some other Pokemon. Yeah. About Harry. There were some pe people who came to mess up Fine Park? Hmm, does it mean the people who came to take Charizard away? I don't think it's talking about that anyway. Alright. What, what do you know about Harry? Did you tell us anything you remember? Anything at all? Huh? You say I'm that Pikachu that came around a while back. So my dad did come here. Yeah, although I still don't remember anything. Hey, Alexander, when you saw my partner and me, how did we seem? We were pretty agitated. Man, what in the world could have happened to Harry? I guess it doesn't know. Let's check and see if any of the other Pokemon here saw my dad. Loud Ed. What do you know? What do you know about Harry? Oh, you don't remember seeing anyone, huh? Huh, if it was my partner, I should know more about him than you. If I did, I wouldn't be asking a question. I can't be helped, I guess. Let's go ask other Pokemon, too. <laughs> about Harry. Oh, you don't remember seeing anyone. That probably didn't take this time here. Okay, so now we should be able to ask Smeargle, and it will be the last testimony. Smeargle. What do you know? Did you ever see a, per a person come around here with a with me before? This may be some time ago. The guy in the red shirt here. No, that's today. I mean, sometime before today. If you haven't, that's fine. I guess it doesn't know about when my dad came here. It was it was upset about the mural. Okay. Was there any other Pokemon that? I oh wait, Trubbish. Where did he go? There he is. About Harry. What? You saw me with someone else. Tell me about it. You saw it's giving something to Baneri. Baneri is a Pokemon, right? I wonder if it still lives in this park. Oh, it's the Ferris wheel in the back. Well, we're waiting for it. Let's go, Tim. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to see Baneri we go. Let's move this shit out of the way. Man, I s they've turned this place into Arkham Asylum. Baneri should be up ahead somewhere. Yeah, but the rain is really starting to come down. No good fuck. I hope it doesn't get any worse. Oh. oh shit! You spoke too soon. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Damn. Really is Arkham Asylum in this motherfucker. All right. What do you want? Where are these gashes from? I know Charizard went on a rampage in the main square. The but why up. are there marks here? Oh shit. Huh? I wonder what that Pokemon is. It's a Heliois. For, for all the electricity generating needs. It certainly seems to stress. I wonder what happened. What? Veneri's in trouble. It's trapped in a Ferris wheel. Little Timmy's stuck in the well. Why are you up there? Looks like it got stuck up there. This isn't good. We need to help it. About Veneri. Why did it go up in the rusty old Ferris wheel anyway? 
The watch is steady. Oh, I see. Ever since the stars were taken away, you've moved the Ferris wheel here every day for Mary, huh? What's Mary looking for, though? Could it be... Yeah, my guess is waiting for Charizard to come back. About the park. Oh, you were in charge of creating the power, huh? You say you sent the electricity to the Ferris wheel through a machine people made. The Ferris wheel has never broken down like this before. Maybe the machine over there got damaged, huh? So that's why I was freaking out. Is this the machine that mentions the electric board? Maybe it was damaged by the lightning. It could have been anything, really. It's a ride that hasn't seen maintenance in a long time. Let's go have a look anyway. I think that is going to be a task for next episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Come below, take the video, make sure to subscribe, and subscribe. Help cheers helps me as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.